Good afternoon, traders. Welcome to this week's market wrap. So we've had a pretty interesting week. We'll go through some of the data in a moment, but we've seen a bit of a roller coaster on the uh, USDX, which is the USD index, and we've also seen plenty of action on uh, cryptos and stock indexes. And gold finally uh, looks to have got a little bit of momentum going, and we'll touch on that as well. But that momentum was uh, south. So I think a lot will come down to the dollar. So we did see a bit of a technical, you know, a bit of a rebound yesterday on the weaker dollar, but it's a pretty decisive blow by sellers this week. But just um, as of yet, it's gonna be hard to really gauge that if that's um, gonna be uh, critical or not. So you can just see this level here and uh, where it's been bouncing from. But yeah, this was a big one during the week where it just broke that low. It really broke a stalemate that was uh, going on for a while. But sometimes you can see a false break reversal. And I think if uh, the dollar does really start to turn, uh, we could see gold pick up in demand. But I think, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have a bit of a look at the dollar and um, its interesting reaction to the key news this week. So the key news that came out so far this week was the US CPI and we can see that it beat expectations to the upside so uh, the year on year was at 3.1 we saw the CPI at 0.3 and uh, 0.4 for the core CPI uh, the core was the one that was getting a fair bit of interest um, recently as it was refusing to uh, sort of move it was very stubborn we did see some movement lower in it but yeah there's that tick up on uh, month on month uh, on Wednesday so we also had UK CPI which came in uh, a little bit lower than expected and um, we had uh, employment data coming out from Australia which showed an increase in unemployment and uh, a real decrease in job creation and we had uh, UK GDP uh, came in at minus 0.1 uh, which is not a great figure but it was better than what was expected at minus 0.2 but still below the 0.2 we saw in the last data so uh, sorry for the noise it is a habit of um, going itchy as soon as uh, the video starts rolling so no idea why that occurs but it is what it is. So to cap off this week, we have uh, core retail sales and retail sales coming out from the US. I think traders will be keeping an eye on that one. So anything um, hotter than expected could uh, be a little bit worrisome. And we also have the uh, PPI. So that's another inflationary data as well coming out. And then uh, US uh, unemployment claims as well are coming out. And then we have um, UK uh, retail sales as well. And also we have, um, yeah, so the sorry, the core PPI and the PPI coming out and the prelim uh, UAM consumer sediment coming out to cap it off at 2 a.m. local time here in Australia on Saturday morning. So looking at uh, some of the markets, we'll just touch, we'll go to the US dollar index. So we can see that really strong move up um, after the CPI data, but we've had a bit of a pullback. So I think traders are sort of digesting actually what that means and um, some of the Fed comments that have been coming out as well. And it doesn't entirely mean that the Fed was shocked at that. And they, you know, sort of comments were suggesting that they did, they were not expecting, but they were open to see, you know, a little bit of um, shock increases here and there. So I think that has taken uh, a bit of uh, the shine off the dollar's demand after Wednesday. And we've seen this two day pullback. So that's been pretty positive for our markets. So the, um, the Aussies started to, um, pull back a bit of a lost ground that it saw on Wednesday and get back to level pegging where it was in the week. The euro also has had uh, two strong sessions during this week. Uh, again, it's remaining below that uh, resistance there. And the pound, which is a plenty of data this week, we're seeing a, a pretty nice higher low pattern here of support. So if things do continue, we'll see if we can get back up to test um, this resistance level here at 1.2629. So both uh, the three main risk currencies are pretty showing pretty similar uh, stories against the dollar at the moment with this needing to beat range resistance at these levels here. And uh, we'll continue to see if that momentum can build or if we're going to remain range bound or if we're going to see uh, more tests by sellers. Now the dollar CAD has had an interesting week obviously with the dollar influence and the oil's influence so we've had a big two day decline, a little bit of buying today and um, oil which is another factor to it has had another interesting week as well. It's sort of choppy at the moment, it's a bit hard to uh, gauge but we can see here that buyers do continue to push at a potential continuation. The real be on end all is this level here. It's at 78.72, really 78. 86. Um, now, if we get a break at that level, this trend continues. If we don't, we're going to continue to, you know, just see this, um, you know, tr treading water that we've seen previously. And um, you can see, even going back to this area here, we just had non stop issues with clearing this level. 
Uh, we had another test um, you know, recent, not too long ago and then that moved back down and then we've had that move back up and this constant uh, pushing at this level. This, you know, this week we've had three real attempts, uh, so close pushes to it and one fail. So buyers really need to break this level if they can. Everything's sort of working for them. Short term support at 76.37. Let's need to clear this resistance and then we'll look to see if they can get back up to the $80 point. Uh, and that is really what we're watching in oil at the moment. But trend structure still does look okay. It's just got to beat that level at the moment. So with other markets, um, we've had some really nice moves uh, on stock indexes this week. So while the Russell hasn't really hit um, records, it's uh, had a really nice fight back after uh, Wednesday's pullback. And um, just having a look at the uh, NDX 100, so we were at records and we had that decline and then we see a bit of a pushback. So we want to see if that is a higher low continuation, get back up to test uh, previous highs, you know, possibly uh, this week's high and that's, you know, that's a record high as well. And the same with the uh, SPX 500, sitting quite nicely in that 500, uh, sorry, 5,000 area now. So we had a bit of a pullback after hitting it. And at the moment, after two days of uh, higher moves, we're seeing some nice, you know, a nice close yesterday and we want to see if we can get a, a new move back up to test this week's high and hopefully beat it similar story for uh, the us 30 as well beautiful session yesterday recovering uh two-day recovery after those that single session of losses nice high or low uh same similar story just need to get back up to this level test and um, have to hopefully break it to see a trend continuation to so 38 a 40 area roughly there uh, but if we be a little bit wary though if we do see another pullback there could be a, uh, a bull trap uh, slash lower high. So definitely uh, just watch that one as well. You want to see another, if we do see more selling, you want to see uh, another buy, uh, another buying bar, just straight away chew that up and then get back up to test and hopefully break some of those highs. So cryptocurrencies as well have been um, really putting in good yards. So Bitcoin's been having another fantastic week. Uh, if we just have a look at the weekly here, see the second week in a row, really strong buying and um, we can see we touched 52.871 yesterday, so it really does look quite nice at the moment. And uh, we did discuss it last week, so I think now really it's broken, you know, above this area here at 50, 52. So I think the real the next key then is just going to be seeing how far it can go. We just want to see those pullbacks and then uh, higher lows, higher highs, just to show good buying strength and um, structure in the trend. But otherwise, um, yeah, it's really, um, momentum looks really firm there at the moment. So some of the other coins as well have been seeing really strong runs. So Ethereum yesterday got uh, all the way back up to 2870. We are wondering if we can get back up to 29. Uh, it hasn't been there for a fair period of time and um, it's not too far away from it at the moment. And it's, not, it's, it's in with striking distance, but maybe if we did see one more pullback, then we'd see a nice higher low followed by a higher high then just to uh, feed that structure a little bit more and keep it nice and uh, nice and structured there so but other coins as well i've been seeing you know very firm weeks so we've seen bnb as well it's been flying it, it broke um that range resistance uh, yesterday with the test it's been back up there today testing out at 366.23 uh, canando's having a solid day as well uh getting inching closer and closer back to those highs that were set um, in that last um, you know, explosive rally that we saw. Uh, Bitcoin Cash is one that we're probably going to do a report on it. Uh, we're seeing some pretty key uh, resistance here. That's at 285.10. Uh, the market continues to struggle at that level. There's further resistance as well up at um, 296, sort of 50, 70 area. But that's the real key level for us at the moment, just around here. Uh, we really want to see buyers um, break that level. Had a bit of a pullback there. We're wondering if we can see a new move back up to test and break it. Similar story to oil in a lot of ways. We have a lot of higher lows, nice market moving up, but just yeah, just keeps getting smack banged off resistance at the moment. Um, some of the other darlings at the moment, so for instance, Solana. Solana ran all the way back up to um, you know 118 yesterday, and uh, it's, and it still continues to uh, show plenty of buyer drive. I mean, it's really back up to those levels seen on the last run. Uh, if we get another extension up, we are wondering if we could see 120 again, or maybe even into the 125s. Um, nice pattern structure here, you know, higher lows feeding up. If we do see another pullback, we're seeing a nice higher low, and then that move back up to test and break sort of resistance areas. Same with um, Avalanche. Nice moves up. Um, Solana looks a little bit better. 
but yeah, we continue to see the buy momentum carry on. And um, Ripple also surprised this week. It's finally found a bit of buy on Mojo, and uh, we can see uh, we didn't report on it. We're wondering if that was a bit of a price structure here, descending triangle. And um, we have seen a nice breakout at the moment, and buyers have come to the party. We're seeing a nice move up back, uh, you know, about 56 cents. And um, now we're just wondering if it can get back up to test and break, um, you know, that 60, 60 cent area. So we'll see if this can continue. If we would like to see it pull back, just a higher low, followed by a higher high, then to push, keep continue to push up. But that's really that resistance area here, the top end of um, 59. And we, we want to see that broken so we can, you know, start to really call uh, this trend, you know, well and truly gone. So the next lower test down followed by a move up should be able to confirm that for us. Um, if we do see a slip back into these areas, that would be a big worry. So that's some of the uh, things that are going uh, on this week. Um, we've had a bit of movement with the yen as well. So um, by the traders are seeing a bit of um, demand at the moment to the yen. So the last three days, we've seen Aussie accumulating. It's just peaking above this resistance here. We did a report on the pound to the yen. Uh, we still are wondering, um, we saw a nice pull back yesterday so everything still looks really good there it's still holding above that resistance level um, as we wanted to see on that day yesterday so now we just want to see if buyers can just keep pushing and break um, this area here just to show us that this trend is going to continue and um, euro a very similar story as well breaking the resistance that we're seeing on the aussie so we want to see buyers hold on to those gains and just continue to push up there is a bit worried though the uh, bank of japan did come out with a few comments uh, around uh, fx levels uh, and they did say that they were ready to, ready to step in now those comments did set off a bit of selling yesterday and you can see that as well those two days down but the markets bounced back from that so we continue to see uh, if buy momentum will can continue to carry forward on these trends uh, but do be aware of that if you are looking to buy or if you are holding uh, the bank of japan had made some comments uh, a day ago uh, roughly you know about stepping into uh, in to uh, certain FX levels if they go getting out of control in their opinion they're ready to intervene so if you do see any wild moves on the end that could be the reason why um, coming up so if buying does continue to keep uh, pushing higher and higher so um, we did see that when it was sort of at that level here so this is one thing to keep in mind on the end moving on to next week we will just have a look at some of the key news that's coming out next week um, Policy meeting minutes coming out from the RBA. We have our Canadian CPI coming out. We have the FOMC meeting minutes. I think traders will be very interested to see what comes out of that in regards to uh, how they're seeing inflation and um, how long do they really think they're going to keep uh, this you know, more um, you know, stricter policy in place. And then we have um, flash data coming out from um, the usual suspects of in France, Germany, the UK and uh, the US. And we also have, um, that's really it actually, a bank holiday for Japan on uh, Friday. So really it's going to be that flush data, Canadian CPI if you're a big um, CAD trader, and um, the RBA policy meeting minutes. And uh, we also have more of a wage price index coming for Australia as well. But not a very busy week, but a couple of things in there to uh, keep an eye on. So that's it for today's, this week's update. Sorry, wish you all the best uh, for the rest of your trading day. Uh, can you check out the retail, you know, that last remaining data that's coming out uh, from the PPI especially just to see if there's any surprises there and other than that yeah enjoy the rest of your day trading have a fantastic weekend until next week bye for now